is Thankful and Thriving Thursday, where big kids can do big things. We're the hosts, Brooklyn, Fiona, and Ruby. And today we have a special guest, Rachel Joy Barbo. just talked about that this morning and I love to dance. Does anybody in here love to dance? Woo <laughs> I love to dance. We might have to dance later guys. You just yeah. never know. Everybody started dancing. <laughs> you threw anything hard as a child. Yes, I did. Um, my parents got divorced when I was little. Yeah, it made me very sad. And so my daddy moved away, and he still stayed in my life, but he was no longer living in my house, and it made me sad. And so I had to understand how to talk about my sadness and share my sadness with others and not keep it to myself. I think that's very important when we're sad, not to be sad just to ourselves. Share with our mom, our dad, our teacher, our counselor. When we're sad, because when we keep it to ourselves and keep it inside, it makes us sick inside. And so when you do go through bad things, which we all will, right, make sure you tell somebody, hey, I'm sad, I'm hurt, will you be with me, will you talk to me? And that will help you tremendously. Why did you start to dance? Because um, I love to communicate. I, anybody here love to talk? Uh, <laughs> I, my mom says if I meet somebody, she says I will talk there. <laughs> Me too, honey. So maybe you need to pick a job where you get to communicate. She says I talk too much. <laughs> well, sometimes I talk too much too. It's okay. But here's the thing. Find your gifts and your talents, what you're good at, and work outside of those gifts and talents. So I knew that I like to talk a lot and I like people, so I became a broadcaster. Yeah. <laughs> is your job hard? <laughs> is my job hard? It is very tiring and I travel a lot, but I get to meet people like you. So it makes it all much better and it makes it worth it. Why do you like your job? Because I get to meet people like you and 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 you in your whole life, today will never come again. So the way you treat people today, the way you love people, the way you forgive, the way you do what Miss Morgan says and do your homework and learn and grow, all of those things matter because there'll never be another day like today where you get to do what you did today. And I love your outfit, by the way. <laughs> so pretty. What do you do when you feel nervous? I pray. <laughs> I pray. Yeah. I pray. That's what I do. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Um, I, uh, I calm down. How do you calm down? I, I, I try to just calm down a lot, and I try to just go go to my bed and calm down a lot. Yeah. Do you breathe deeply, or do you think about certain things, or what do you do to help you calm down? Like, think of good things. Oh, I love that. That's very positive. Way to go. Can you give me five? Good job, buddy. I love your outfit. It is fantabulous. How does it make you feel when you speak in front of people? It makes me feel whole. It heals my heart. It makes me feel happy. And sometimes I think it's important for you guys to know 
that there are different kind of tears. So the tears that you see right now are happy, grateful tears. Any, anybody here ever cry a little bit when they're happy? Okay, yes. And you can cry when you're sad too, right? So there's different kind of tears. And her question was so wonderful that it moved me to happy tears. So thank you for that. May I have a hug? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're very pretty. I, oh, thank you. I think you're very pretty. Thank you. And you know what? I think your soul is pretty. Thank you. Close, 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 close. How do you motivate people to keep going? What do you say to motivate yourself and others? Yeah. The first question, um, and can you repeat it for me one more time? I just want to make sure. How do you motivate people to keep going? I tell them my stories of when I wanted to quit and the hard things that I've been through and what I learned about that. And so I hope to share my stories so that other people can be strong when they're going through their tough times. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what did you ask, my love? Um, what do you say to motivate yourself and others? I, you know what I say to myself, guys? What? I say, I love myself. I'm a miracle. I'm meant to be here. There's no one else in the world like me. I'm going to do great things with my life, right? And if I'm sad, I tell somebody I'm sad. If I need a hug, I tell somebody I need a hug. If I need a timeout, I tell people I need a timeout. But I remind myself that I'm a miracle every day. Yeah, I can do this. Yes, so she just said it was perfect. She cheers for herself. Y'all better cheer. Who, who in here likes sports? Okay. So when we when we watch sports, what do we do? Woohoo! Cheer! Right? Why don't you do that same cheer for yourself? You cheer for yourself. Say yes! Yay! You were great today. Yes, cheer for yourself. I really like Dak Prescott. Does anybody know Dak Prescott from the Cowboys? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> no. 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 That's okay. I know him as a human being besides being a football player. And he also lost his mommy to cancer. And instead of being bitter about it and letting it make him hard, he used it to turn around and help other people. And he is a very kind person. And you know what Dak is great at, and I wanna teach y'all this, is he is a noticer. And what do I mean by that? It means, you wanna you want tell me? What do you think I mean? Um, it means that you notice people that are going back. Yes! <laughs> Way to go! Woohoo! Can we cheer together? Yeah. So he noticed, he noticed when we were doing an interview one time that I was sad about my mommy and sad about the way the interview was going. And he noticed and he stuck up for me. He noticed and so he was my friend and he comforted me. What I want to teach you all to be, and we're going to talk about later on today, is how to be a noticer for other people. You may be the best thing about somebody's day because you noticed them that day. Right? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. What is your favorite thing to talk about when you have a How to have good love for yourself. It is one thing in the world to want other people to love you, but what do we need to do? Love ourselves. Yes! Yeah. You gotta love yourself. You gotta think you're amazing and that you are smart and kind and worthwhile and a miracle. And no matter what your outsides look like, that your beauty and your handsomeness come from your insides, right? Because when we have pretty hearts, when we have handsome hearts, it means we're kind, thoughtful, loving, and joyful. Yes. <laughs> Because I wanted to tell my story and I wanted to write it down. And I'm very nervous, but in a good way, because the book is coming out in June. 
and it's my innermost thoughts. I wrote all my innermost thoughts down, and it is not a book of fiction. It's all about my life. So I'm nervous because my whole life's going to be out there in a book, but I'm also excited because I know my story will help other people. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about writing? Hmm. That I get to walk through so many memories of my life, of good memories and also sad memories that help me become a stronger person. Thank you, guys. She has a question really quickly. I'm getting my braces in June. <laughs> You're getting your braces in June? Braces are where you get colors and like, oh, man, those are the best. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Lisa. Two more questions. And then we'll what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for you and you and you and you. And, you. <laughs> and I'm thankful for Miss Connie that she said yes and fought to have me here today. Because this is the best thing that I get to do today is be with you guys. And this morning I was with your teachers. And I got to encourage your teachers and teach them how to even better love themselves. And so this has been the best day because I get to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, and then we'll let all you guys ask questions. What one can help you guys and the best Some tissue. <laughs> <laughs> tissue. <laughs> my mommy, and she's in heaven. And um, she's on my necklace. Thank you. Does anybody in here have anybody go to heaven? So what's important about, about somebody who's in heaven and no longer with us is remembering, remembering them and keeping their memory alive by talking about them, telling stories about them, and telling people about their life and who they were and why you love them. And so thank you for asking that question because I've got her right here and she goes with me wherever I go as my angel. And so thank you for asking me that question. Thank you, Miss uh, Rachel, for <laughs> for coming to our show. We're going to open it up and see if you guys uh, have any other questions you'd like to ask or interact a little bit. Um, so, in the blue, he had his hand up longest. My birthday's in June. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Braces, birthday, book coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, right here. She is. My grandma's in heaven too. Aren't grandmas the best? Yeah. yeah. And grandpas. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much the best. We'll get us a question. We'll get a picture. They did. Both your parents? Your mom's parents. Keep talking about them. Keep telling stories about them. Yellow. Because it's happy. Yellow. Makes it happy. And, oh, yes, I am. Yellow on my crown. It's but joyful. Joy, Rachel Jackson joyful. has a question. Yes. Well, how, old, how old do you have to be to be a sports reporter? Like, you can, I have a friend who's in high school who's a sports reporter. You can start right now if you want to start your own show. Oh, Jackson, you should start your own Where you, show. Jackson said, <laughs> <laughs> he's ready for He's that. ready. <laughs> yes. um, what does a day look like for you? A day? <laughs> well, every day looks different because sometimes I'm here on the road like today and sometimes I'm at home studying and reading. Who loves to read in here? Oh, Woohoo! <laughs> reading, let me tell you something, guys. Listen to me. Reading is everything. When you read, you can go places you've never been. You can travel the world. You can learn about new things. Reading is awesome. So sometimes I'm at home and I'm reading and I'm studying and I'm with my bonus kids and my husband and my two kitties and my doggy and I'm at home working and sometimes I'm on the road here. So every day looks different. All right, couple more and then we're gonna close it down because we've got other places to go. So, right here. I've got 10 more minutes if you're okay. Have you ever like had a day when you want to Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh what a question. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I already love this child. Really cool. uh, great question. And because it's a real question. And it allows me 
to be real with you. You ready for this? Yes. Yes. You are going to have bad days. You are going to have days where you feel sad, mad. Yes, where you feel mad, sad, where you feel like quitting. There are days where you feel down in the dumps. And do you know what I told the teachers this morning to do on those days? What? Is to tell some, call somebody or ask somebody like your teacher or your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or somebody in the school to remind, say, remind me please who I am. Remind me that I'm a winner, that I'm smart, that I'm kind. Everybody's going to have